White Rock 85 up for Pennsylvania deer season. And I know the two bad things about PA deer season. One, not seeing any deer. Two, and it almost could be worse sometimes getting rained on. A little cloudy today. May have a, a little bit of a, a mix. Uh, rain, snow, ice mix possibly this evening. Looks like uh, Monday, Tuesday should be good. But I'm going to show you a couple options that I have for tree stands to keep the rain off you. Again, that cold rain and when it's in the 40s uh, or high 30s, that rain going down your neck, that's one of the worst things. That's going to drive you out of the woods uh, more than anything I know. So these, here's a couple options that I have. They're both fairly inexpensive. Uh, this is, I happen to have the box on me somewhere. Got this quite a few years ago. This is a buckwing quarter roof 57 inch and it is of course waterproof ventilated so the wind will go through it a little bit and over here I think this might be a River's Edge brand I'm, I, I'm not sure I got it a few years ago but uh, if you do a Google search on tree stand canopy uh, both of these I think will come up and uh, this is more of a, a, a metal piece, a little bit harder to, to get up on, on the tree uh, just because it is a little bit more heavy, not quite as portable. Uh, but they both serve the purpose. If it, was, if it was coming down right now, I could be under this. And uh, the measurement, I think this is about 30 inches by 30 inches and quite good coverage. Uh, you do get a little bit of the rain noise on the roof. Uh, takes away a little bit, but it's uh, certainly a lot, bit, lot better than than getting wet. Again, uh, this this is almost like a tree stand. It mounts to the tree. You can see it's got the metal frame, uh, the brackets, and basically the the harnesses back there. Uh, this porter roof. Now this goes up a little bit differently. Again, this is very light. Uh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to take this down out of the tree off the tree. This will actually fit my uh, my backpack, my deer backpack. So this is something, chance of rain, uh, you just throw it in your backpack. It's very light, it's very compact, and you can have this up and on the tree in about 10 minutes or so. So it's really good for a possibility of it raining. Uh, if it's a really bad storm, a lot of wind, most likely you're not going to be in the tree anyway because that rain's going to be going sideways. So it's not quite as sturdy as the other one. Look, as you can see, it's an umbrella style. It goes up just like an umbrella. It has some ties around the back, fabric ties, uh, that you tie around the back. There's three of them. Uh, a little screw that goes into the tree. And actually, this fits right down into it, and that's what holds it up. There's a little pin that goes through here, and right before my video, looks like my pin fell off. So I'll have to get another one. It's just a little cotter pin that goes right through there and holds this in place. Uh, one of the drawbacks on this, sometimes these ribbons will get wet and act as a wick and your ends here start to drip on you, drip down the tree on you a little bit. But uh, as far as you getting wet out in the rain, a few drips over here from this, there's, that's quite a difference. And as you can see, I can fit under here. Uh, it's got a nice wingspan on it get up close to the tree. I would have this higher up. And of course, I'm not up in a tree right now, but down on the ground it's a lot easier for me to show you. I probably have this up, uh, have this up higher above my head, so uh, of course I could get back under it a little bit better. But I just wanted to kind of show you on this. And again, this is camo. It kind of blends in pretty good with the trees. And I've used this plenty of times out there in the woods. And this has been a, a certainly kept me dry, it kept me in the woods, kept me on the on the hunt, and, and that's what you're looking for a product like this for. And again, same with our other one. Again, this is a little bit more permanent. Uh, if you have a, a stand and you go to it a lot and it's a permanent stand, you just may want to put this up before the season and you just leave it uh, throughout the season and then take it down when you're finished, especially if you have a long season. Uh, like we do in Delaware, there's there's plenty of opportunities to hunt different weeks. If you bow hunt, you can certainly leave this up, and it's going to last you throughout the season. And then it's pretty easy to take down. Again, I'll, I'm going to show you how to how to 
how this one attaches to the tree and takes it down also. And, uh, and again, pretty nice for a, a more of a permanent, where our umbrella type is more of a uh, spontaneous. Let's take a look at this one. We'll take this, we'll take a look at it. And again, this is attaches almost like a regular tree stand. Uh, I didn't do it like a bang up job putting this one up because I just slapped it up real quick. But again, you can see we have our metal supports. It goes together. I mean, this will take you about 10 minutes to put together. Uh, when you get it in the box, it'll come pretty compact, pretty easy to put together. Uh, just a few nuts and bolts and, and it'll go right together. Uh, but it really does it does work pretty well. It's sturdy. Uh, if it is a little bit windy, it's less effective than an umbrella type. And it does certainly keep it dry. Have a camo pattern here uh, on the part that shows. On the other side, we have a black. So let's just uh, let's come in. We'll take a look. And as we can see, it just hooks onto the tree, and it has our our strap. We'll go ahead and start taking this taking this down, loosening it up. And as you can see, it just hooks right onto it. And we'll loosen this one up and take this one down also. A little bit heavy. Uh, a little bit cumbersome. I cannot imagine that. Oh, I'm going to take this into the stand the first morning and set up. As you can see it has that black roof and the camo. This isn't something that you're going to want to set up the first morning that you go into the woods. Ah, oh, it's crappy weather today. I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and take my roof. Uh, that's more of an umbrella type style uh, that, that you want to do. You want, you're going to want to get this set up at least a few days before you check the weather and it looks like it's going to be bad. You want to get this set up. And like I said, if you have a permanent stand, you may just want to keep this thing up all year. Certainly would recommend this one, and actually both of them. I really don't have a have a favorite. I kind of like this one just to get it up, keep it up, and uh, don't worry about it. Where this one, again, is a little bit more maintenance. So let's come over and take a look at it. As we can see, we have three ribbons that are attached. They're actually just snapped on there. You can take them off. For another use of this, which I'm going to show you in a minute, but uh, I just have the straps tied around the tree, and again, we have this that I just screwed into the tree, and on our umbrella piece of it just comes down or, and, and goes right into that. So I'm going to go ahead and start taking her down, get these untied, and you can see how fast this is going to come down, and it goes up just about as easy. And here it's off. Folds up just like an umbrella. We have our piece in the tree. And I'll unscrew that and put it in very in there very far. And actually even has the little strap like your normal umbrella would. Tie it right up, put that around. And again, as you can see. This is perfect for putting in your backpack. This weighs nothing. I don't know the weight of it, but I'm guessing it can't be more than a pound. It's probably even less than a pound. So it's great to throw in the backpack. It fits in mine. Uh, I can put this in there and zip it up. Uh, so this is just uh, just great to have with you. You think you're going to have some inclement weather and it starts coming down on you a little bit and be like, hey, I'm going to throw this up. And again, first piece we would do is see how high we would want to make it and just go ahead and screw that right into the tree and again I'm not putting it in as far as you should and I've done this in a tree stand in a climber tree stand I've been able to put this up so this is something that you can do safely uh, from a climber and we'll just open them back up again and again just opens up like an umbrella as you can see we have the shape of it for our tree and then our ribbons to go tie around the tree so that's what we would do let's go ahead and put it right in and then we would take these three go around behind the tree and start to tie these off so again very easy very portable very light, great to have. And then, as I mentioned, these do come off. I could take these off. Oh, it'd be better if I didn't have gloves on. And 
They're off one side. I'm just going to leave them on the other. The other is the use for this is a ground blind or a ground shield or a partial. You basically take your screw piece, use it almost the same way, screw that into the ground, put this right in, and it will stay in place in front of you. I've used this in uh, archery season this year, and I sort of make myself uh, get in behind some bushes, and this gives you a little bit of a an advantage trying to trying to hide out from them. Of course, very obvious in the snow here, but nice camo pattern, and it does uh, keep you hidden a little bit. So I've used it both as the ground blind, the rain shield, the tree stand rain shield over the old head, and it's worked great. So if you're looking for something like this, definitely recommend either one. Again, a little bit more permanent, a little bit more portable, and lightweight. So you have two options. If you're going to price-wise, these are going to price out. I think this one's actually a little cheaper. This is 35, 38 range, and this is more in. If I remember, again, it's been quite a few years since I've got it. It was we're talking twenty dollar or twenty dollar range, twenty to twenty nine, and uh, very very good product. I really like that, and again, I do like that for the permanent tree stands. So I hope this helps. I know it's a little late to post this for 2013, but uh, for next year, if you're thinking about it, maybe you might be able to catch one of these on sale at the end of the season, and you pick one up and say, hey, I saw those. They seem like they worked out pretty good. You pick it up and, uh, and go ahead and use it. So this White Rook 85, signing out from Camp Goat time, deep in the woods. I think I just heard a shot from somebody sighting in their rifle or shooting a rifle right before season, as we did yesterday. But uh, White Rock 85 signing out, Camp Go Time, deep in the woods, Pennsylvania, again with two tree stand rain canopies that, that I really, both of them really work great.